वेलकम बैक टू पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन टू पेपर फाइव सीरीज फॉर ए लेवल फिजिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्लॉटिंग ऑफ पॉइंट्स ऑन द ग्राफ विच यू हैव टू डू इन पार्ट सी ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू सो आई हैव द वैल्यूज फ्रॉम द टेबल एंड ऑल वी नीड टू डू टुडे इन दिस वीडियो इज प्लॉट द पॉइंट्स ऑन द ग्राफ नाउ ऑन द सर्फेस इट सीम्स लाइक अ वेरी सिंपल टास्क टू प्लॉट द पॉइंट्स बट देर आर मेनी मिस्टेक्स दैट स्टूडेंट्स मेक विच prevent them from plotting the points first of all accurately and then they also draw them uh, in the wrong manner and that's what leads to the loss of marks as well so i'll be covering these points it will be a brief video so let's get into the screen and see how it's done um there are few very important tips and very useful tips and that i'll be giving you while we are solving this example from may june 2012 paper 52 So we have this graph of one over L versus F. So first thing that you need to do before you even start plotting the points is go to your table and check the table against the graph and see which column has to be plotted on the y-axis and which has to be plotted on the x-axis. So as you saw, one over L is on the x-axis and F is on the y-axis. Now usually. because we are accustomed to it what we usually tend to think is okay the first column or the column which is on the left will be on the x axis and the one on the right will be on the y axis but you can see this is not the case here so before you even start plotting the points write x axis here and write y axis on this column so you don't forget which two columns you actually have to plot and which column belongs to which axis okay a second very important tip before you even start plotting the points is writing these numbers at the bottom of the graph here at the top and why uh, am i saying that because uh, so why am i telling you to do this so sometimes what happens is you have to plot some points in this region and it's very hard to move your gaze from this part of the page to that part of the page and then from this part of the page to this part of the page because this part of the graph or this point is so far away from these numbers you can lose sight of your point again and again when you're checking the values and that can lead to a mistake and a lot of stress it can also be time consuming so in order to avoid that problem what i like to do is write the numbers at the bottom given at the bottom at the top as well and then write the numbers given on the left on the right hand side as well then what you need to do is find the value of the smallest box so what happens is when you have to plot a point which is not on these bold lines and somewhere in the middle then it's hard to see the value right so what you can do to avoid that problem is calculate the value of this smallest box on the x axis as well as on the y axis so if i go just one box forward from 1.8 what would be the next value so in order to find that out what i like to do is 2.0 minus 1.8 divided by the number of boxes between 2.0 and 1.8 so those are 10 boxes and that will give me 0.02 So that tells me that the value of the smallest box is 0.02 that means if i go just one step forward from 1.8 that number will be 1.82 and then 1.84 1.86 88 eight, and 2.0 and so on and so forth same thing i can do for y axis as well so 270 minus 250 divided by 10 boxes and that will be equal to 2 so that means if i go just one small box up from 250 that will be 252 and then 254 256 258 and so on and so forth now we have to start plotting the points so another very useful tip before plotting the points is knowing actually how to plot the points so let me give you an example let's say you have to plot a point which is 2.0 comma 270 now you go ahead and you plot this point right here 
when the examiner is going to look at this he is just going to mark this wrong he's not going to give you a score for this point why is that because this blob is too large the size of this blob should not be more than half the smallest box on this graph so you have to draw very small dots and that means having a very sharp pencil so do not forget to sharpen your pencil and bring extra pencils as well so let's say now i want to plot another point which is 2.0 comma 290 so what is the correct way to plot this point draw a very small dot and then make a circle around it so that actual plot should be accurately plotted and then the other thing is to uh, make a circle around it so the examiner can easily see it even when a line crosses so when a line passes over it the examiner will still be able to see the point clearly it will not get covered by the line so this one is much better than the very large blob that we drew before so another very important point to cover while plotting the points is accuracy plots should be accurate to half of the smallest box in the graph you might have seen this written in your marking schemes as well so what does that mean let's say i have to plot a point which is you will see that when i go one block further from 2.2 .2, i reach at 2.22 so obviously my 2.21 will be just half a box further from 2.2 that means when i have to plot the point it has to be between the two boxes on the x-axis so if you look at this plotted point correctly it is right between the two vertical lines it's not to the left it's not to the right it's right in the middle of the box now we have basically noted down all the important tips to plot the points we can now start solving this particular example so if you um, so if you look at the table now the first value on the x-axis is 1.83 and the first value on the y-axis is 2.56 one other very important tip while plotting the points is to use these bolder lines on the graph as a reference always always try to count from the nearest boldest line um, otherwise you will just get lost very easily while trying to find a point now you can see 1.8 seems pretty close to 1.83 so if I count from 1.8, one block further will be 1.82 and then I'll the next box is 1.84. That means 1.83 is between the second and the third line. So I'll stretch out a reference line from here and then 256 will be uh, count. Uh, I'll start counting from 250. So that will be 252, 254 and then third line is 256. So at the intersection of these two lines, I can plot my point now the next point is 2.08 comma 294 so again counting from the nearest boldest line which is this so from 2 the first line is going to be 2.02 and then 2.04 and then 2.06 and then the fourth one is 2.08 so 2.08 is somewhere along here and then 294 will be counting from we'll be counting from 290 so 292 and then 294 will be here so let's make a point at this position so keep your dots small and try to be as accurate as possible because if you don't even if your one point is not accurate enough then it might result in the loss of marks so all points have to be accurately plotted now let's go to the third point 2.35 comma 330 now between 2.2 and 2.4 this line is 2.3 so if i account from 2.3 that will be 2.32 2.34 and then 2.36 so between 2.34 and 2.36 i have 2.35 somewhere along this line along this line on the vertical axis i will see 330 which is quite clear it's on the bold line so it's very easy to find so the fourth point is 2.50 that will be between 2.4 and 2.6 so if i count from 
I don't have to count from 2.5. 2.5 is right in the middle of 2.4 and 2.6. So along this line on the vertical axis, 350 is also very clearly on a bold line. So this point was quite easy to find. The fifth point is 2.82, 2.96. Now you'll see that the points are actually moving away from the bottom left corner of the graph and they're actually somewhere in this region. And this is where the, the numbers that I wrote on this side of the graph will become useful. So now instead of looking at the bottom and the left of the graph, I look at the right side and the top of the graph to find my numbers. So 2.82, if I look at the numbers written at the top, I'll count from 2.8 bold line. So that would be 2.82. The very next line after that is 2.82. So I'll drop a line, vertical line from here. 396, I can count from 390. So 392, 394, and then the third line will be 396. And that's where my next point is going to be. After that, I have the last point at 3.13. So if you look at 3.1, which will be right in the middle of 3.0 and 3.2, I can count from this line and that will be 3.1 and then 3.12 and then 3.14 so right between so 3.13 is going to be along this line and then 440 is right between 450 and 430 so the last point has also been successfully plotted now you have done a pretty good job of plotting the points accurately but what i would like you to do before going on to the next step is doing two very simple things the first thing is to count the number of plotted points so if i count my points they will be one two three four five six i have six points plotted what i need to do now is count the number of rows in the table so one two three four five six these two should match up if the number of rows in the table are more than the number of points that means you have missed out a point or if your plotted points are more than the number of rows then maybe you have plotted something twice or you have plotted an entirely wrong point which shouldn't be on the graph so look out for that then there is a matter of the points being plotted correctly so a very quick way of checking whether you have actually plotted the points accurately is just trying to align your scale and we're not just drawing the line of best fit yet but just try to align your ruler along these along these points and see if they are all close to a straight line will they be uh, will it be easy enough to make a line of best fit for all with all these points now you can see it seems so that all these points will lie on a straight line or at least they are very close to it but let's say for example one point on my plotted graph seems to be way out of line and it is very far away from the line well i can be pretty sure that this one has not been plotted correctly so i need to recheck this point from my graph go back and see uh, which point is this supposed to be so this is supposed to be on the fifth line and then see if i've made a mistake okay so those were all the important tips for plotting the points now um, problem that the students do really face with this uh, plotting of points is uh, that it takes a lot of time or it's very hard to get them accurate if you if you go for accuracy then it takes a lot of time and if you try to do it quickly then you make a mistake or i can give you two answers the first thing is to follow all these tips as much as you can and the second tip is to practice just uh, you have one day before the exam you can easily practice at least like i don't know five to ten graphs just complete uh, have completed tables so you can get completed tables from marking schemes right uh, practice plotting them accurately because this is the uh, part of the question two which takes a lot of time although it's probably the easiest part because you're just looking at points and plotting them so it's not supposed to be that hard at this level but it it can be time consuming i know it still takes me a lot of time to do this so try to practice as much as you can so that you can increase your speed and yeah that's it